Hi everybody, it's Julia, your trusted travel expert, helping you find that je ne sais quoi wherever you are in the world. And since I'm on deck and we're sailing and it's not that exciting, or there's nothing much going on on the ship, I thought I'd do a really quick ship tour. So as a reminder, I am on a Tauk trip exploring Lisbon, the Douro, and Madrid. Um, and we are on the MS Andorina, which means swallow, which is one of the symbols of Portugal. And it is a brand new ship and it is beautiful. Now my room is not particularly clean, but you get the idea. Okay, so we are on the lower level, the fixed window cabins. But as you can see with the window, with it's a great big generous window and the shade opens up and you still have a nice view right at the waterline. Um, the room is not huge, but it is comfortable. You've got the two beds because my mom and I are sharing. We each have a nightstand that has storage. And then you do even have a little sitting area, which has become my office. Now over here, you've got a lot of storage. You have a little coffee maker, a um, mini bar and safe. And then you have hanging storage here and even a drawer down there. A little, another little desk area, which is sort of our catch-all and our shoes go underneath. TV that has a few channels, but we really haven't turned it on much. And then we also have, um, you know, basically drawer storage here. And then let me show you the bathroom, which is pretty good, actually. The storage is pretty good. There's lots of storage under there, um, under the towels. Uh, nice sink, storage above the toilet. And a good good size shower, actually, I will have to say. It's it's not so bad. And they are really good about uh, changing out your towels daily. Okay, so here we are in the lower level hallway. And I'm actually going to, hi, that's my worm attendant. There is an elevator that goes up to three, but I'm gonna use the stairs because that way you see more of the ship. Nice little shopping. Now see, the carpets are a little bit different but that's the second floor hallway, and this is the dining area. And that is sort of set up for crew lunch. But it is really lovely. And one of my favorite parts about um, this ship is that it is an atrium. So you have a skylight that gives all this um, fresh, bright light into the dining room. Now normally back here, they are set up for, um, buffet lunch, but we're having a special lunch up on deck, which is where I'm headed to. But you see, they've got the lovely Portuguese tiles to give that feeling. And they have the shades down, A, because it's sunny, B, because we're not in here, and C, because we were docked right next to a ship. But you see, again, this is set up for crew dinner right now, um, crew lunch right now, but they have these sort of private, um, or not, it's not private, but larger tables set back where you can have wine. All right, so heading upstairs to the third level, the main level, you have the reception desk, which is pretty unobtrusive. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and this is all they really have for a store. I know a lot of River ships have a big store, but this ship does not. These are the main entrance and exit doors. And this is the main lounge where we meet every day. Hello, our friendly tour directors. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the bartenders are lovely and very helpful. And they really don't even let you bring, like come up here and carry a drink. They, they really take care of you. They're not working right now. I think everyone's getting ready for lunch. But just to show you, there's some outdoor seating as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the main deck. Isn't that beautiful? The whole Duro looks like this, it's amazing. So now we're on the sun deck and this is the bridge with its beautiful view. And what's cool about this ship is that the bridge and the Arthurs, which I'll show you, they can uh, go down, they go up and down because sometimes the bridges that we sail under are very, or locks are extremely low, like you have to dock low. And so this bridge where the, the captains in there driving can lower down and he pops out of like a little um, you know, porthole thing. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs>
head. No. And then check out this pool. This is by far the nicest pool of any ship we've seen this week on the Dora. Isn't it beautiful? And then I might go not go down here because people are busy. But you've got loungers and you have these fun like kind of sunbeds. And then the back there is Arthur's, which is the secondary dining. And so I'll take you back there right now. So Arthur's is the secondary dining and we get to dine al fresco by reservation right now because of COVID, I think, and capacity restrictions. But it, it also, you see, is on these hydraulics. And so when we go under low bridges, it also lowers down. It's really crazy. Now they're setting up for our afternoon barbecue, which I'm really excited about. But I did just want to give you a peek into the restaurant because it's really beautiful, even though it's not set up or anything like that. But isn't this lovely? Again, with the Portuguese tiles, they set up buffets, they do like a tapas evening, and you have this whole back view over the river as it sails behind you. And it is just lovely. And there's even some al fresco dining out back. So that's Arthur's. So voila, that is the MS Andarina. Talc's uh, ship, they partner with a company called Scylla that makes all of their ships. So they don't own this ship, but I think they designed it. Um, and it holds, around 90 passengers, I think, although we are only a much smaller number than that this week uh, because of COVID and cancellations and things like that. And it is just lovely. It is comfortable. It is beautiful, clean. The staff is incredibly lovely and kind and fabulous. And, you know, you get to see beautiful places like this. Like, you know, it's just gorgeous. Like, look, this way too. Gorgeous, 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 everywhere you look. So um, I hope I've tempted you to come sail on the MS Andorini, Andorina uh, with talc, or at least on the Dora River. That's it for this week, and I will talk to you next week. Bye.